Hello and welcome back to Level Up Land Week Mod. If you heard a click sound there, that was just me turning my dehumidifier off for now, for whilst I'm recording. I don't think it comes through on the recording, but either way, I'm turning it off for now. Safe for no reason. As you can see, I have over a thousand shields! Hey, uh, so let's get some enhancers. Let's get some escapes first. But yeah, this is basically the rhythm of things. And it's not really going to deviate much for a while, I don't think. I would have to test out though. On some enemies, see how I do. Because I'm thinking... Obviously the main thing I'm focusing on now is getting lots of shield. And that is the main... That is like the main focus of weak mode. But I am going to actually need things to be able to beat the dragon. Even... Without um, like too much shield, so um, what I'm thinking is, with the dragon, I'm gonna. One thing I'm gonna want to get is I'm gonna get repels. That's a big one. I want to get twists. I want to get blasts. Freezes and barriers are gonna be very nice, very useful. For now, I'm going to focus on shield. We've got twists, blasts, repels. Um, blasts. I might actually. Here's an idea. I might try farming the mages because they can give me heals. Then they give me analyze. I think they'll be blast recover. I think. And is it drain and regenerate? Maybe. I don't know. Jump my head. Let's actually go do that now. Um, I've got twenty nine siphons, so and I've got seventy four warps, so I'm fine with warps. Let's head there. Might be a good place to... Yeah, so I'm going to give that a go. Because I don't really need to escape from stuff. I don't know how I'm going to be with skeletons. Right. I don't necessarily have to stick around the entrance there, mage. But I would like to analyze. So you get their health down to blow 100. Because the problem is, is that I don't actually have any heals right now. So this could be a bit of a problem. Yeah, this is... Right. Can I do any extracting at all? No. So, heals, uh, 
Repairs might actually be quite useful. But I mostly want heals. But if I can get repairs, where's a good place to I mean I can get repairs from robots, but uh I don't particularly want to fight robots. I mean, that could be a valuable strategy actually, because I think I've got because I've got more shield now it means I can do a longer fight with robots. So getting heal at repairs might actually be quite efficient. Because like fairies, I've got to like you know extract and run or strike or whatever. Regenerate, right? Let's try three strikes. I might actually be an idea with the. Uh, can I get out? Yeah. It might actually be an idea with the mages if I want to try fighting them to go for drain, like use drain on them maybe. Um, and what was the other thing I was thinking of? Oh, uh, it's just new strikes. So I don't think they give strikes. I think they give they give blasts. Well, you're close enough. I'll just try getting some spells. Hopefully, some escapes. strike. Okay, let's try killing you now. Blasts will be good. I'll need blasts for when I'm fighting the dragon also. Blasts would be good for uh, the wizard as well. I'll be able to get through their health faster. But I'm not sure. Oh. No, no matter what it was, it wouldn't be able to kill me anyway. Strikes might be good against the mage because it gets it down, it's because getting its health down faster also means it's got less time above 100, so it will heal less. It's one thing to consider. Plus, I can fight a mage and then kill it and then just use a siphon and do it again. Uh, so I might not need to warp, but of course the more I do that the bigger risk I'm taking because I don't know what a skeleton's going to be like. Just kill the bat. I have no purpose for it. But yeah, I think the mage gives analyze heal, blast, recover, and drain. Right. Analyze it. Go on, analyze. Come on. Right. Let's strike it down. Right, let's see if I can sort of make a bit of a profit. Right. Eleven. Uh let's regenerate. I don't think it gives um Okay, well there's a blast. Must be loads of strikes. Two blasts. Oh, I want to be careful with my regenerate there.
Maybe I could um, cover. Oh, that was close. Actually, why did I leave it so close? Okay. Well, I used a bunch of strikes. Got three blasts. So that's what the conversion rate is. Load of strikes to three blasts. Uh, I didn't get anything else, did I? I don't think that's worth it. I really don't. Use a few analyzers. Uh, analyze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine strikes. Yeah, I don't think it was worth it. Right, so I've got two heals. One, okay, one blast. So I'm not measuring heals. I'm going to measure blasts. Oh, and regenerate. Okay. Didn't get it in time. So maybe. Mm. I don't know. I don't feel like it's worth it. I might get blasts, but still, it's not great. Shall I try fighting a troll? And then just escaping. I think a troll is going to be too much to... Uh, let's just kill the fairy. Now. I don't exactly have any swamp walks. So... This swamp... Is probably going to do a right number on me, as the saying goes. Right. Let's have a look. <sighs> yeah, that it's. It's a lot. Three seconds to cross that swamp. Maybe I should just go around the other way. But anyway, let's fight a troll. Oh, it does a lot of damage. One blast. Run. I don't use an escape for a blast. No. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to focus on getting getting my shield up. Swamp walks would be nice. I don't need swamp walks. I can always take the long way around. There's nowhere, no place where you need a, you need to cross a swamp to get to a place. Apart from what there's one area that you can only get to by crossing a swamp, and that's in the top right corner of the map. But I don't really have any particular reason to go there anyway. Demons are going to be. I think demons are going to be completely out of the question. Because I think my health is so low that it's gonna it's gonna de-level me too quickly. Actually, can I? So I'll try to extract from a wolf. See how I end with having to extract from a wolf. Yeah, it's still quite a bit. So maybe I could do three extracts from a wolf. Potentially get a blast, probably not. Mm. 
do the do 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 the do 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 Got one strike, two strikes, right. So I'll say if my shield got to about 550-ish. Okay, so 500 seems perfectly reasonable. So I'm thinking like long term. I'm winning a lot of shield, that's for definite. I think if I'm fighting the dragon, I'm going to need to have a decent amount of shield, I'm going to need Barriers, um, freezers, quickens would be nice. Oh, got an escape. Right, let's start attacking. The audio could very well be out of sync, you know, like, I sing it in sync, but when it comes through on the recording, it might not be. So when my shield gets to 5, say 520, I'll start attacking then. Okay. Try to get my enhancers up to 20. Should that be my next goal? Yeah, the thing is, like, I was trying to fight the troll there, and the thing is, trolls do slow down as the fight goes on, but the problem is, is that with increasing your shield rather than your health, like I said before many times, that's good for multiple battles, it's not good for long battles. So, whereas if I would, if, say, if, say if instead I would have, like, a thousand shield, not a thousand health, and 500 shield still. Um, I would still, I'd still be able to like you know recover and joker and all that to get to keep the the fight going, but I can't do that without the health. Without the health, all I can do is just use a heal. I want to get past a certain threshold of like enemy strength, healing like in the middle of a fight just doesn't really do the trick. I've got plenty of strikes but I'm going to have to use them.
So I'm thinking 19 or 20 enhancers next. And then I'll get ready to go and get a lot more copies. But with this method of just extracting until I get to 520 shield or whatever, that, at least that, that, this way that I'm doing it, it's like, I'm definitely going to keep everything I extract from them. If that's any consolidation, I don't know if it is. Oh, why am I at 240 health? Why am I not at 300? Did I forget to heal? Um, I guess I did. Do the skips though, rather than just strikes. Also gotta remember to step onto the pier after this fight as well. I'm gonna get to five escapes. I forgot how many extracts I can do from an eagle without being hit on my health. I wonder if it's worth my time to extract repairs because I wonder if it's actually worth trying to repair against a sentinel just for the sake of fighting it for longer I mean probably not it probably does more damage than what like the time it takes to use the repairs I honestly do not know But I'd like to get five skips first, and maybe I'll try it out. Just because... I don't know. It feels like it might be... It feels like... Using... The thing is with the repairs is, like... 
repairs are less sufficient than heal, especially against um, stronger enemies because one turn is a fewer amount of your total. It, it's a it's a larger percentage of your total turns, uh, so it lacks the speed element. Um, not just in suddenness, if you get what I mean, but rather in terms of how like the amount of time of like percentage of time of the fight it takes up to use. Um, but I'm thinking that's true. But counteract that against the fact that repairs are going to be so much easier to extract because I can fight a robot for longer. So I'm going to be able to extract a whole lot more the uh, uh, repairs rather than heals against fairies because the fairies I'm going to have to keep running into and then like using up my strikes and you know and hope it doesn't kill me and running back whereas with robots and repairs I can just do it in one fell swoop I guess anyway I've got an escape. Should probably go for one more. But I'm thinking, like the value of repairs, it's half the amount. I mean, it's not half the amount of a heal because um, heal. Heal recovers on average 150 and repair does 100. Now repair does it on your shield which recovers after every fight anyway. Um, so, but even ignoring that side of the calculation, let's let's say heal is twice as good as a repair. Just flat out twice as good. One heal Say if one if 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 heal is say if heal gives you like two hundred health every time, uh, one heal against an enemy that for the length of one of your turns hits you for a hundred, you will gain a hundred. But a repair, it will just it will just keep you flatline. So it's like you've used your turn to counteract exactly what they've done for their turn. Um, and say if they did slightly more than that, say if they did 101 damage every length of a turn that you could use a repair, then basically you're just spending a turn to have one point of damage taken from you. So repairs can become worse. Because the speed at which they heal you is overtaken by how fast they hit you. So let's try three heal at uh, three extracts. Aha! I, well I got a blast! My first blast that I'm going to keep. I'm going to be able to keep. I'm going to save with. Yeah, so um, So if a heal heals you oh, uh, twice as much as a repair does, then the heal for an enemy that's say uh, like very 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 slow, the heal is going to be almost twice as good as the repair for healing you by twice as much. But say the stronger that an enemy gets, the quality of heal and repair go down at an even rate but because repair is weaker than heal the quality of a repair goes down faster percentage wise didn't need to save there I don't think So what I'm thinking of is, like, for the Sentinels, I don't know how much time the repairs can save me. 
because in a way I sort of feel like I probably won't be able to outpace their damage by ha by using repairs. Oh, forest game. Should I just try now? Should I just try? Um, uh, I don't think it's going to be very effective, but I want to fight a robot. I'll probably fight a crab. Oh, an eagle. Well, let's see if I can get something from this eagle. Regenerate is like triple the strength of a repair in that regards. Crab. Well, they can give me repairs, but only at a 3% rate, I think. I think crabs is analyze repair and strike. Analyze and repair at 3% and strike at 6% I think. Whereas robots... I think robots are only 20% I think. But robots have repair at 9% and analyze at 9%. And probably not going to really need all that many analyzers but Potentially. Yeah, you can't catch loads of crabs. I think eagles are rarer on the sand as well. Eagles are like 10% or 20% maybe. I think robots are 20% and crabs are the rest. So crabs are very, very common. Eagle, I can make use of you still. Making a profit on strikes. I mean, just because I'm not using them, I'm not using them at all. I'm not in the, I'm not currently in the business of using strikes. So I guess I sort of am by definition making a profit on them because I'm spending none of them. Come on, give me escapes, please. Yeah. 
No escapes, okay. Guess I'll just attack you there. See you give me no choice. I'm really proud of the spell variety in this game. I'm getting those images where like, I exit the menu and, I, and the word menu on screen sort of stays in my vision when I leave. When I leave the menu. Okay, let's see how we fare. Of course the robot has a wide range of damage it can do, so it can be a bit risky to leave your health, to let your health get too low, but you don't have to analyse it at least. So in blind mode, you will always know if you're fighting a robot because the robot will be forever analysed. Come on. Ah, one more attack. Oh, good. So they did 4 damage. I think I did 16 there. Or was it 8? That's something. Oh anyway, yeah, I'm getting all the analyzers. There's one more repair. So repairs might still be pretty bad. Uh, gotta keep an eye on my health. I don't know what the max it can do is. Can it kill me in one hit? I was doing lots of small attacks. Come on, oh. So just attack now. Okay. Four repairs. Now, this is an experiment, so I've got four escapes. That's not fantastic, but four is a number that I feel decent with. I've got four repairs. Now, I know the thing itself actually gives me repairs as well, the Sentinel. So it's something to try. No, I won't bother trying to extract from the wolf. Probably won't make it out alive anyway. Maybe I could extract a little bit from an eagle, and if I get an ex if I get an escape, then just run back to the pier and save. <laughs> could. Don't fancy it, but I could. Thank you. 
Because I'm, I'm also thinking... I mean, obviously I fought a robot for the sake of getting repairs there, just to test this out. But also, this the Sentinels do give repairs, so maybe this is the... Oh, 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 this is where it's good to use the repairs, because I'm not really going to have much other times I'm going to probably want to use them, I imagine. Barrier. Right, let's... Yeah, it doesn't really help. Enhance though. Uh, escape. Yeah, so the repairs is probably not a very good idea. But I did get an enhance, so that turned out to be a profitable... A profitable fight. No, I will extract from Eagles on the way back. I'll do like two or three extracts or whatever. Same with wolves. I got an enhance. Uh, how many you skipped my two? Right, okay. I want to get at least one more enhance before I decide to go and try and get more copies. If I'm going to try and get more copies, I need to build up my heels. Ideally, I'd like to, I think maybe I should get to 20 enhancers, make it a nice round number. Then every copy can give me 20 shield. So this is, for what it's, uh, for what it's been, as compared to the rest of this playthrough, this session, this recording session, this episode, whatever you want to call it, has been quite an experimental one. I've gone quite a bit away. Um, I tested out the repairs. I am. Um, did, did other things. <laughs> yeah, I did things. So this high profit of strikes that I'm making, I wonder how uh now see I've hardly extracted anything from it so I don't really wanna start attacking it. I might just keep extracting and then maybe try and run. Or if I extract an escape, I might choose a couple strikes. Right, okay, let's see. Let's try that. Oh. These are quite a lot of strikes there. Uh, I know I've got plenty of strikes, but still, that's not necessarily a good, I a, good uh, an ex a good excuse to use so many of them still, just having a lot. Because 
You know, any strike that you use is still the strike that you could have kept. No matter how many you've got otherwise. The only time it makes sense to is if I think that I wouldn't otherwise, I suppose. Like, I, like ideally, like the way that you would have played the game, the way to have played the game the most effectively would be the one where you complete the game with no spells. So every spell you've extracted, you've used effectively. That would be the best way to play the game. But that's not realistic. Oh, I didn't even extract from the wolf. See, if I extract nothing from it by the time I get to my threshold, then I don't, I don't really fancy, like, I know I got, like, a strike there, but I don't really fancy killing it because it's like, well... I didn't really get much from it. Escape. Okay, let's just try running now. Got quite a bit of time. I can. Plenty of opportunities to run. Will I? No? No. Well, that's the thing. It's sort of like you sort of want to have like a, a fight to go on longer, but then if you let the fight go on longer, you're gonna to to start resorting to run. Even with this but shield, like if I extracted an escape now, for example, I would wait till my shield gets to 250, uh, 550 rather, and then just start attacking it. But like one strike, like right, okay, uh, see. Yeah, I got an escape, it's like, okay, I'll, I'll start attacking it now. I should probably go for one more escape. One more escape, and then, and then start getting my heals and all that back, like twenty heals or whatever it was. Should I go for more than twenty? I don't know. I always feel like the thing is, it's like I always feel like, oh yeah, I should, but then it's sort of also like, mm, I kind of want to get my stuff quicker. See, I've extracted quite a bit here, so I can just attack this now. Save it twice there. I know I saved it and then I left it and I saved it again, but I don't know if I saved it twice like the first time. But yeah, this second lot, this second lot of 500 shield is going to take a lot less time than the first lot of 500 shield. It's it speeds up because does it speed up fast enough? Like so that your total amount speeds up, but your relative amount does speed up. So like the amount it takes to double it the first time, like I think it will probably take more time to, to double it again. But 
to get 500 again, it will take less time, definitely. Or oh, statistically, it takes less time, rather. That was just with just one hand. That was me. <laughs> Using my index finger and my ring finger. Is it called a... I mean, what is the name for that finger? Because I keep hearing ring finger, but... Like... Like, if you think about, like, okay, thumb. That's, like, you know, a technical term. Index finger. Like, that's, like an index technical. Middle, you know, middle. Like, and then, like, this little finger it's the smallest one the other one like ring ring finger it's like well i mean culturally you put rings on it but that is purely a cultural thing they call the index finger a pointing finger I mean, not even that makes more sense than ring finger. Come on, one more skip. One more skip. And then hopefully one more announcement before I have to end, end the session. I am feeling like the process of getting enhancers isn't really speeding up all that much. I mean, speeding up in the sense that getting escapes is speeding up, but I don't know. I wonder, just out of curiosity, I'll check. I was wondering if I use up all my enhancers now. Uh, let's save so that I don't lose them up. Let's, what happens if I use up all my enhancers now? Uh, hold on. Okay. 1197. Well, that's like 150 ish. Obviously, not worth it. I don't want to get my enhancers back down to zero. Right, let's do three extract or four extracts. Ah, nothing. So I'm going to reliably get twists. I feel like if I could get my shield to say 10,000, which I know is a lot. But if I could get it to 10,000, I feel like I could reliably go a lot further. I mean, but still, 10,000 is a lot. Pesky rat. I 
Feels like it's been too long since I saw an eagle. Come on, just an escape. I know it's 3% but I'm doing lots of these extracts. Okay, see I only got one strike. I won't hit that number so it's sort of like I don't want to... As long as you need point and start, atta start attacking it. Right, okay, I've got a lot of strikes. Ah, let's try running. Did get a lot of strikes. Okay, I managed to escape. I managed to run. Again, let's not confuse the term escape as in its general use and the term escape as in using the spell. So I've got two strikes from this one. And I will probably start attacking it when I get to 550-ish. Oh, well I've got an escape anyway. Okay, back to five escapes. Still big profit on the on the strikes. That's a big point of note. Right. Let's give it a go. Got a few minutes to go. Let's Hold on, let's one, two, three, four. Okay, let's continue on. Necessary steps. A bat. Things with those strikes as well is I don't know how much they're going to make a wizard more powerful. Because having more spells does make a wizard more powerful, but it is very much a case of. Um, I think it's like the. It's sort of like a square root. So, the more of... What? Have I done the same thing again? Have I entered the wrong cave? I feel like I might have entered the wrong cave. We've got two bats in a row. That's unlikely in the cave that I'm going to be in. Oh no! I am in the right cave. Lucky. We'll be lucky in some circumstances, but not this one. Enhance, enhance. Uh, escape works right away. Nice. One escape for an enhance. Simple and easy. Uh, so, yeah. Um, four escapes. Uh, well, this time I basically gained a bunch of strikes. And two enhancers. Eventually, maybe it would be nice to be able to fight mimics and get um, enhancers and copies from mimics because they they work really well with that whole setup there. They can really boost it quite a lot. But I think the problem with that is that it's going to take a lot for me to actually get to that point where I'm going to be comfortably able to. To, uh, to fight to get to them also considering the fact that they're a rare enemy in that field and they're still like stronger enemies like along the way there yeah um so I think next time I mean obviously I'm not gonna remember me saying this until next like next time but as it currently stands well we'll, we'll have to see what I think when when I get back to it but uh, I would like to get one more enhance get up to a nice round 20 then go and get the heals and recovers and regenerates and then try and get uh, copies from the wizards again 
That's the plan. That's the current plan. Yeah. Okay. Save. Thank you for watching. See you next time.